This video will explore how to use the Vocabulary Builder on Nova Rugged devices. Vocabulary Builder is a tool that temporarily limits the number of words available on the display. It allows the user to focus on a small set of target words whilst maintaining consistent motor patterns for those words. It can be used during teaching moments and turned off to allow the user ample time to access the full vocabulary for exploration and learning. Vocabulary Builder is available to use within duplicated vocabulary files on Nova Rugged devices. To access vo Vocabulary Builder on a Nova Rugged device, you need to open the menu. You can do this by swiping right from the left hand edge of the screen, pressing the three dots on the left hand side of the speech display bar, or long holding on the back button, and then tap on Vocabulary Builder. If you cannot see Vocabulary Builder as an option within the menu, please ensure that your device is running chat version 2025.4 or higher and that you are in a duplicated vocabulary file. Let's take a moment to have a look at what we see on the screen. When Vocabulary Builder opens, you will see a box on the left hand side of the screen that says Enabled Words. This is where words that are currently selected for the Vocabulary Builder list will be displayed and where you will add words if you are editing or creating a list. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see saved word lists and default word lists. You will notice also in the top right hand corner of the screen, there is an off on toggle. This is where we will turn Vocabulary Builder on or turn it off. Let's start by looking at the default word lists. There are five default word lists available. You will see that LAMP Words for Life Transition is now a default word list as it is no longer available in a separate vocabulary file. If you would like to start with a default word list, tap on the list and either load or duplicate. I'm going to load the list. and I'm going to save it because I might want to add some other words and customize it later on. Now that I've saved my default word list, I'm going to turn the vocab builder on by pressing the toggle at the top. And now if we navigate back to the vocab file, you can see that I have my vocab builder word list. Okay. You may like to build a custom list from scratch. To do this, you first need a list of words that you would like to target and then within the enabled words sp space we will click and add to begin typing our words. Because I did just have a default word list enabled, I'm going to first clear all so that my enabled word list is empty and now I can begin typing my word list. If a word has multiple pathways, um, a selection box will appear and you can choose the preferred pathway. I would like to word, add the word A. So you can see that I am given all of the possible pathways that we could add. The word A um, also appears as a letter on our keyboards and our phonics pages, but I'm going to select the option at the top for the word A and click OK. Once you're happy with your list, you can go ahead and click on Save List and name it. 
You may like to name it after the activity, or if you're trialling the device, perhaps you might like to name it after the user. Checking that Vocabulary Builder is toggled on in the top, we can now go back to our vocabulary file and we can see our custom word list has been loaded. Yeah. You can access the full vocabulary at any time by opening the vocabulary menu and toggling Vocabulary Builder off. If we go back to our vocabulary file, we can now see all of the words are available. You can add and remove, times, remove words at any time from the Vocabulary Builder menu by editing within the Enabled Words list. So if we go back to Vocabulary Builder, I can add a word in here. I'm going to add the word play. I'm going to make sure that my vocab builder is toggled on before I head back into the vocab. You can also edit words in the vocab builder list by using hide mode. To do this, click on menu, edit mode, and then we click on menu again and select hide mode at the bottom of the menu list. From here, you can select the words you would like to add or remove. I'm going to add the words good and bad. This will automatically update the enabled words list and it's ideal for buttons without messages such as the plural S marker in LAMP Words for Life. To exit hide mode, we click menu, hide, menu, edit mode off. And now those words that I just added Good. in hide mode have been revealed. When editing word lists, vocabulary builder lists, don't forget to save as you go. You can save by selecting save list at the bottom of the enabled words box. You will also notice that within the enabled words box, we have the ability to toggle the keyboard access on and off using a button. If we toggle this on and head back to our vocabulary builder list, you will see that we now have access to the keyboard within a vocabulary builder list, enabling access to literacy within targeted activities. Lists can also be imported using the import button next to the save word lists heading. A few final tips on using vocab builder on Nova Rugged devices. Always ensure that you're saving your word lists. When adding words, make sure that you're spelling them correctly and using correct punctuation, otherwise they may not appear in the list. And if you choose to begin with a default word list, Load it prior to making any customizations as it's not possible to merge word lists at a later time. That was a quick overview of how to use Vocabulary Builder on Nova Rugged devices. You can find out more information on our website or by contacting a member of our team.